in this particular example I want to show you how you can get translations uh, and interact with translations so bear in mind that uh, the, the language negotiation settings that you may have um, in here region sorry languages um, I added the, the Catalan language and then the detection and selection I added it uh, to detect it by URL this is at the default and also the default is to have it by a prefix uh, so this detection uh, may not be very compatible with the rest principles because this changes the URL you will have the same article in different languages uh, but the same article under accessible under different URLs and uh, that is not very purely uh, restful um, but you could add since these uh, de detection and selection methods are, are are configurable you could have one that doesn't alter the the path uh, but instead sends um, a header uh, but for simplicity I'm just gonna uh, leave it to to the defaults and uh, let me show you what I how I configured this. I made the articles content article translatable, but only on the title. Uh, this is this is a silly uh, this is a silly setup, um, but it serves well for my for my example. So um, that's what I did, and I went to this node 2100, and uh, I went to translate it. And uh, I added a translation for Catalan, and I said that uh, I added this uh, in Catalan. So basically, if you go back here, you can see that the title in Catalan is just this title plus in Catalan. So let me show you if I add the Catalan prefix in here, uh, you can see how the title changes. So. That's exactly what we want to see in our uh, API, right? Um, so if I select this particular node and select the field title, uh, I'm getting this. Uh, let me re-request it so you can see that um, I didn't do any trickery in here. Uh, you get this title. And now if I add the, oops, the language prefix, uh, and again, this uh, this could be maybe a country module at the negotiation method using the accepts language Catalan. Uh, this would be so. This would be uh, something like this, uh, or whatever, um, uh, and that would make it more restful. But uh, in this case, we're sticking with the URL. So if we make the request in here, we uh, should get the correct language and uh, fair enough uh, we got it and uh, this this should be um, uh, this should be true for any field that you uh, make translatable uh, obviously I just uh, made this example to to be this uh, title be translatable uh, however uh, with the JSON API module writing in different languages um, meaning translating, creating translations using the JSON API module uh, is not something that is officially supported. Uh, it may or may not work. Uh, I leave that to you to find out.